So you beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I wanted to check out whether this pattern that has been exposed has been executed in any way. And when I say executed, I want to know whether this pattern has been granted or whether it is still in the application stage. And that's something we're going to find out in today's video. We're going to do a bit of investigating. Now, if you do enjoy the video at any portion, please don't forget to drop a like. And if you are new here, consider subscribing with the notification bell clicked so you get my Call of Duty videos as soon as they are published. So first, I got to shout out Why So Serious because he is the guy who has initially done this video about this particular patent. Now, there have been a few other videos about patents previously i know drifter did one whether it was at the start of this year or last year for modern warfare 2019 and this pattern basically was a pattern to incentivize players who didn't have guns that were from the shop to be put into lobbies with players that were shooting and killing them with said weapon from the shop to persuade them to go to the shop and try and get this particular weapon. I think it even went as far as the weapon would perform a little bit better than expected if they actually went and purchased it and they would get into easier lobbies. Now you guys may have played games and said to yourself, and I've said this also, we've had conversations in a comment section, you guys have said the same thing as me. Sometimes you feel like you're shooting somebody and you just cannot kill them. I've showed you guys me hitting someone direct impact with the um, war machine when these people are nowhere near their spawn. And you've literally given me timestamps of the video saying, what happened there, Tracky? So I wanted to kind of go over quickly what Why So Serious covered, just so you get some context as to what we are researching here. And then I'm going to go one step further than Why So Serious, because I've spent the last few hours doing as much research as possible to try and find out whether this application was granted. One of my followers on Twitter, Bohika, he was the one who sent me this website. And then I just had to work my way around the website to to find out exactly what I was trying to find. Now, a disclaimer I will put out here is I am not a lawyer, I'm not an attorney. However, I've done what I believe I needed to do to tr try and quantify exactly what is going on here. So please forgive me if there's any kind of complexities that I have overlooked here. However, what I am looking at, I believe I have seen enough for you guys to get a real idea as to what's going on with this patent. So let's talk about the meat and potatoes of what Why So Serious was talking about. If we look at Fig, 3B from uh, portion 81 of this document. There are actual documents and I will link the website down in the description for your pleasure if you want to delve into this further. It is an absolute rabbit hole that we're going through here. But this is the most important thing you guys need to know when you are questioning yourself when you're playing this game. Fig 3B illustrates a list of parameters of gameplay sessions that are modified based on a player's skill level and corresponding experience for players of a different skill level. For example, in the first shooter at gaming environment, when a player aims his weapon at a target, a parameter defining the tolerance of for how accurate the player's aim must be to hit the target is modified based on the acquired skill level of the player. The computer assigns the tolerance for how accurate the player's aim must be to hit the target differently based on the skill level of the first player. A player having a higher skill level will be assigned a lower tolerance parameter, therefore will have to be more accurate in order to hit the target. Players having a lower skill level will be assigned a higher tolerance parameter, therefore could be less accurate in aiming in order to hit their targets. As shown, column 310 of table 1 lists viable parameters such as degree of accuracy required to hit. And then if we go a bit further down, you will see it's going to be more difficult to hit them. Here it is here. So for example, 100% of damage, the experience of a player having medium skill level may be medium degree of damage. For example, 50% of damage. The experience 
of a player having a low skill, a uh, low degree of damage, for example, 0% of damage. So in a nutshell, they are manipulating, just like I've said in previous videos, they are manipulating the environment in real time, which is just absolutely scandalous when you think about what's going on here. So let's go into what I have actually ascertained from this. So I've gone into the public pairing of the pattern application information retrieval and I've done a bit of homework and as you can see here I have found the Activision pattern that has been put into process and we have a transaction history here so basically we can find out everything that's gone on during this this uh, patent and we've got all the adjustments that have been made and basically these adjustments from my understanding and this is just a brief understanding as i've told you i've only researched this today is you can basically readjust things as your applications going through and you can actually apply for the patent to kind of be compensated for the delay that it's taken now the most important part of what we want to actually see here is going to be the transaction history because this is everything that has happened since the 27th of september 2017 this is when it basically started the whole process for this patent so as we can go back to uh, the pattern that um, Why So Serious has showed us, you will see the date on here as March 18 and the A1 is when it was published. So you can see here it was filed September the 27th, 2017. So if we go back to the documentation that I'm looking at, we have a track record of exactly what has gone on email correspondence and everything, the patent term adjustments ready for examination, which is what I've just explained to you guys. And if we continue to go through, you will see just a detailed history of exactly what Activision have, have been doing with this particular patent. The patent has loads of little infractions in there that affect gameplay. Um, and th th this is one of many, many, many applications they've had since I started gaming and playing Activision games way back in the day. So there's different uh, uh, there's different patents for different games, uh, basically what I'm saying here. So we've had a final rejection, a male final rejection, and then we've had the request to CPA, um, a request to continued examination. So what I'm getting from this is that they've actually continued to push for this particular patent. And as we can see here, uh, pass it, patent issue date used in PTA calculation. So that's the calculation that I was just on, on about. And then recordation of patent grant mailed. Patent grant mailed. That means that this patent, from my understanding, and if I've got this wrong, please call me out down in the comment section and correct me because I'm not trying to put out false information here. But for my understanding, a recordation of patent mailed is that's confirmation and it's been recorded that this patent has been granted. And if a patent has been granted, then you are the owner of this and you can implement it into your invention, which is call of duty. So... I'm sorry for this being a bit of an ad-lib video. I've had to read this off screen. I've kind of done this live with minimal editing just so you guys get an understanding as to what's going on. But the reality of it is, guys, that we are basically getting manipulated playing Call of Duty. And that is why you believe skill-based matchmaking is making the game difficult with for you and that's just one of many factors in this game so guys let me know down in the comment section your thoughts on this this is really hairy stuff and it's stuff that is it's it's really backhanded man it's really really bad <laughs> guys there are many buttons you could hit but the like and subscribe button i hope they took your fancy and as always guys don't forget to stay on the right track peace